This is my review of the Radaware personal microwave exposure alarm. In this short video, I'm going to talk about why you would want to buy a device like this, how it works exactly, what the features are, what the downsides are. I'm going to show you in operation and then I'm going to give you a quick conclusion at the end. You may not be aware of it, but our world is now engulfed in an invisible sea of radio frequency microwave radiation exposures. In 2011, the World Health Organization classified these exposures as possibly carcinogenic. There are now thousands of independent, peer-reviewed studies which link these exposures to a long list of diseases, serious diseases, including cancer. This device enables you to detect those exposures. This device is designed to enable you to constantly monitor your radio frequency microwave radiation exposures and be alerted when these exposures hit a predetermined level which you can set. For instance, in your bedroom, in your office or in your workplace, then you could set this device so that uh, it would alert you when, for instance, somebody came in with a cell phone most important characteristics of any EMF meter or EMF detector are its frequency range and its sensitivity. So firstly the frequency range, well you can see the frequency range of this device is shown on the front of it and it's 200 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. To put that into perspective most cell phones in the world and cell uh, phone networks are operating in the 1 to 2 gigahertz frequency band. Most Wi-Fi is operating at 2.4 gigahertz, although there is a move to 5 gigahertz now. Um, so this device will be, be able to detect all of those frequencies. And secondly, in terms of its sensitivity, according to the manufacturer, the sensitivity of this device is 0 0.01 volts per meter. Probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but it is very low. Downsides, first thing to say is that this is not an EMF meter. Uh, it's a, an EMF detector. It's a radio frequency personal uh, alarm, which enables you to monitor readings in your environment and get res alerts, but it does not give you actual readings okay uh, so that's the first thing if you're looking to buy an EMF meter and you buy this you're going to be disappointed I think where this device is useful is where you're kind of wanting to sleep easy so to speak you're wanting to be able to just switch this device on and know that if it's not flashing if it's not making a noise then your uh, exposure levels are low and the second point I want to make is that in certain circumstances using this device can work against you and what I'm talking about here is that in the case of people that are electrically hypersensitive then using this device going out into the world having this thing switched on and then it starts uh, flashing and making a noise that that if you're not able to um, move away from that environment uh, where there are these exposures that this device is alerting you, you to and it's actually so it's doing its job then that in itself can uh, contribute to your uh, symptoms and so I would say in the long term using a device like this if you are EHS then that may not be the best thing to do so this is how it's delivered in this nice little pouch, got a zip on it, so I'll take it out, there we are, and we also get this little instruction book with it too, which explains a little bit how it works, so flip it over, look at the back, then we've got a battery in there, 9 volt battery, which gives you about a week's worth of autonomy, continuous use. Um, but I'm told by the manufacturers that there will be a mains adapter for this so you're going to be able to plug it in and you know, have it switched on all the time. Uh, it also takes rechargeable batteries too. So I'm going to switch it on. That's switched on 
with the uh, sound off and that's with the sound on and we're going to put the sensitivity uh, to the maximum and you see we've got a green light lit here and we've got a, a green uh, LED which is flashing here so this flashing LED all that means is that the device is switched on and the ticking that you can hear that means that there is detecting uh, radio frequency radiation so we're on the most sensitive setting so it's increased now to medium you see we've got the orange light that's because I've got my wife in the room here with her cell phone because I just wanted to to react a little bit so you can see what it was doing um, so her cell phone is checking in now and again uh, with the cell phone network uh, but anyway so we've got uh, if this green light is lit we're on the most sensitive setting that means that we have at least 0 0.015 volts per meter and now it's gone to the red so that means we've got a high reading on the sensitive setting it means we've got at least 0.15 volts per meter okay so um, ten, uh, 10 times more um, and so if I get her for instance to uh, there we are it's doing it again so she's using an app on a phone to, to, to make it uh, to, 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 to make it to work here so what I'm going to do is turn it down to the least most sensitive and there we are fully anti-clockwise and so we still got the green light here showing it's working it's not making any noise no ticking um, and for this to light now so we've got nothing uh, the indicators uh, the LED is not showing it's showing now so we know now that um, on this we've got at least 0.3 volts uh, per, per meter here with this lit and if it was at the top on here if this one was to go then we would know that it would be at least 3 volts per meter you don't have to worry too much about these actual readings I'm giving you I'm just giving you this um, so that you've got this information if you are interested in but you don't need to understand this uh, to be able to, to use this meter but what I would be doing if I was using this is I would be turning it round so I'd be just below a level where um, I was getting um, it was actually detecting something here uh, which is let's see just below the, the highly sensitive point it looks like there's a slight delay I noticed still there but there, there we go um, so it's as simple as that it's very very simple and that's really the, the beauty of it the radaware is a dinky little device which packs a big punch principally because of its sensitivity according to the manufacturer it's thousands of times more sensitive than similar devices on the market and has more than twice the frequency range I've no way of being able to verify that and I should say that you know, no EMF meter, no EMF detector can measure all the radiation uh, exposures but what I can say is it's very sensitive so um, my message is that we need to be aware of EMF exposures and this device enables you to become aware, um, more aware of them and um, be alerted to them and more importantly to take action. I've written a full review on my website uh, if you'd like more information on this. My name is Lloyd from electricsense.com. Thank you. Have a great day.